Far too many seniors lose the strength in their legs, and eventually their ability to walk, not because of age but because they never knew what nutrients their body was silently begging for. And as we grow older our bodies naturally struggle to absorb key vitamins, yet most people never adjust their diet or lifestyle to fix that. The result? A slow, invisible decline that starts with weak legs and ends with full-blown paralysis. Yes, paralysis. Countless studies have now confirmed that just being deficient in three specific vitamins can slowly shut down the nerves and muscles in your legs. And the worst part? Most people don't feel it happening until it's too late. So please, stick around until the very end, because the last vitamin we'll reveal is most strongly linked to leg paralysis in seniors. And after that we'll break down exactly why these deficiencies happen, especially as we age, and how you can get these vitamins naturally, even if you don't want to take supplements. Before we start, please hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel to help this important message reach more people who truly need it. Now let's dive into the three silent vitamin deficiencies that could be putting your legs at serious risk. Vitamin B1 Deficiency Vitamin B1 or thiamine is essential for healthy nerves, especially in the legs. When you're low on it, you risk developing a condition called beriberi, which weakens your muscles and nerves and can even lead to paralysis over time. This is especially risky for seniors, since aging makes it harder to absorb nutrients. Thiamine helps turn carbs into energy and keeps your nerves working right. Without enough of it, nerve signals get messed up, leading to tingling, pain, weakness, and trouble walking. Studies have linked low thiamine to a higher risk of peripheral neuropathy, nerve damage that often starts in the legs and feet. One reason is that thiamine keeps the myelin sheath, the protective layer around nerves, healthy. Without it, nerve signals break down and muscles start to weaken, slowly at first, but possibly leading to paralysis if left unchecked. To prevent this, seniors should eat thiamine-rich foods like whole grains, such as brown rice and oats, legumes like beans and lentils, nuts, especially sunflower seeds and lean pork. But if diet alone isn't enough, supplements can help. The best supplement form for seniors is benfodiamine, a fat-soluble type of B1 that's easier to absorb and better at reaching nerve tissue. Just make sure to take it with a meal that has some healthy fat, like avocado, olive oil, or eggs, to boost absorption. A typical dose is 150 to 300 milligrams daily, but always check with a doctor first. Vitamin D Deficiency A significant percentage of people, particularly seniors, are vitamin D deficient without even realizing it. While vitamin D is known for its crucial role in bone health, many seniors unknowingly suffer from low levels of this essential nutrient, which can lead to a host of health problems including weakened bones, muscle weakness, and in severe cases, the gradual loss of leg function, even resulting in paralysis. Vitamin D is essential for calcium absorption and bone health, and it plays a key role in maintaining muscle function and nerve health. One of the most troubling consequences of long-term vitamin D deficiency in seniors is a gradual weakening of the muscles, particularly in the legs. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism in 2009 found that seniors with low vitamin D levels had a significantly higher risk of falls, fractures, and muscle weakness. This can be traced back to the fact that vitamin D is essential for maintaining healthy muscle fibers and proper neuromuscular function. When vitamin D is deficient, it interferes with the normal function of muscles and nerves. Research has shown that low levels of vitamin D can lead to a condition known as myopathy, muscle weakness that can begin in the legs and progressively worsen. A 2011 study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition demonstrated that seniors with insufficient vitamin D were far more likely to experience muscle weakness, particularly in the lower extremities, making it difficult to walk or stand. Over time, this weakness can advance into paralysis if left untreated. To avoid the serious consequences of vitamin D deficiency, Seniors should focus on getting adequate sun exposure and eating vitamin D-rich foods such as fatty fish, fortified dairy, and egg yolks. However, due to the limitations of sun exposure, especially during winter months, supplementation may be necessary. When supplementing with vitamin D3, it's essential to pair it with vitamin K2, preferably in the MK7 form, and magnesium to ensure proper calcium regulation and optimal absorption. Vitamin B12 Deficiency is one of the most underdiagnosed yet devastating deficiencies in seniors. And the scary part is that it can happen quietly, without any dramatic or early warning signs. While many people think of vitamin B12 as simply the energy vitamin, its role goes much deeper, especially when it comes to protecting the nervous system. 
In fact, long before a senior feels unusually tired or foggy, a B12 deficiency might already be silently damaging the nerves in their legs. Over time, this can lead to peripheral neuropathy and in more advanced cases, complete paralysis of the lower limbs, a harsh reality that's behind countless mobility losses in older adults. What's particularly concerning is that this nerve damage is often irreversible if not caught in time and yet so many seniors remain unaware that their legs are at risk because B12 deficiency often creeps in subtly. Tingling in the feet, occasional numbness, or a slight unsteadiness might be brushed off as just aging, but they can actually be early signs of something much more serious. And here's an even more unfortunate twist. Vitamin B9, also known as folate, can mask a vitamin B12 deficiency, making lab tests and even symptoms misleading. Folate can temporarily normalize certain blood markers like anemia, giving a false sense of health, while the underlying B12 deficiency continues to damage the nerves. That's why it's so important not only to ensure adequate intake of both vitamins, but also to be cautious when supplementing with folic acid or folate, especially in isolation. The nervous system relies heavily on B12 to maintain the protective myelin sheath around the nerves. Without enough B12, that sheath begins to degrade, disrupting communication between the brain and the muscles. The legs are often the first to suffer because of the length of the nerves that travel to them. A 2013 study published in Neurology found that older adults with low B12 levels had significantly worse performance in balance and walking tests compared to those with sufficient levels, even when no anemia was present. The best way to prevent B12 deficiency is to consume high-quality animal-based foods regularly. Beef liver, sardines, salmon, eggs, and dairy are all excellent sources of bioavailable B12. However, for those who follow plant-based diets or have digestive issues that impair absorption, supplementation becomes essential. But here's the key. Not all B12 supplements are created equal. Seniors should avoid the cheap synthetic form known as cyanocobalamin and instead go for methylcobalamin or adenosylcobalamin, the active methylated forms that are readily used by the body and especially supportive of the nervous system. Likewise, for folate, it's best to avoid folic acid and opt for methylfolate, which is the natural and bioactive form. Now that we've covered the three silent vitamin deficiencies that can slowly paralyze the legs in seniors, vitamin B1, vitamin D, and vitamin B12, let's quickly talk about how these deficiencies actually happen, especially in older adults, and more importantly, how to avoid them. First, it's important to understand that it's not always about not eating enough of these nutrients. Sometimes it's about how your body processes them, and unfortunately, many daily habits actually rob the body of these essential vitamins. One of the biggest culprits? Refined carbohydrates. When you eat a diet high in white bread, pastries, sugary cereals, and processed snacks, your body burns through vitamin B1 or thiamine at a rapid rate. It takes thiamine to metabolize sugar, and every time you spike your blood sugar, you're using up this critical vitamin leaving less of it available to protect your nerves and muscles. Sugar in general is another major drain. High sugar intake not only increases the demand for B vitamins, but it also creates inflammation and oxidative stress, both of which accelerate nerve damage. Over time, this contributes directly to muscle weakness, numbness, and eventually, the kind of leg paralysis we're trying to avoid. Alcohol is another silent thief. Even moderate alcohol consumption can interfere with the absorption and utilization of multiple vitamins, especially B1 and B12. And for seniors who may enjoy a drink or two regularly, this can quietly chip away at their leg and nerve health over the years without them even realizing it. Then there's the issue of low stomach acid, a very common condition in seniors. As we age, the stomach naturally produces less acid, but here's the catch. Stomach acid is essential for absorbing both vitamin B12 and minerals like magnesium, which help activate vitamin D in the body. Without enough acid, the absorption of these nutrients is impaired, even if you're eating all the right foods. To improve stomach acid levels naturally, consider incorporating habits like drinking a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in water before meals, eating bitter greens like arugula or dandelion leaves, and avoiding drinking large amounts of water during meals. Also, Try not to rely too heavily on acid-reducing medications unless absolutely necessary. Because while they can offer short-term relief, they can lead to long-term nutrient depletion. And here's something to think about seriously. If you really want to protect your legs and your entire body, it's a smart choice to drastically lower your carb intake. 
The vast majority of chronic ailments seniors face from nerve damage to heart problems and cognitive decline stem from chronically high blood sugar levels. And since carbohydrates naturally raise blood sugar, reducing refined and excessive carb consumption is one of the most powerful things you can do to stop these silent nutrient depletions from progressing into something far worse. So if you've made it this far into the video, thank you because you're taking steps most people never even consider. Please don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, share it with someone who might need this information, especially a parent or grandparent, and subscribe to the channel for more science-backed, life-changing health videos like this one. Together, we can spread the word and help more people protect their bodies from the inside out.